How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make magic water for your chickens. So this is a really great thing to give to your baby chicks for the first few weeks that they're starting out. Uh, it helps to boost their immune system and if they're a little bit sick it can also help them survive through that sickness a lot of the time. It's just a couple of natural additives that we're going to add to regular old water that you would give them anyway. Uh, so, the first thing that we're going to add is two pressed garlic cloves. Now, I actually don't have a press for garlic cloves, so I'm just going to go ahead and crush them uh, because pretty much the point of this is to let some of that juice from the garlic get into the water. You don't really want to have big pieces though, so try to, uh, I guess, crush it gently. And... I probably would not use, like I don't recommend using the liquid from minced garlic, like maybe you guys are thinking do that since it's garlic juice. Um, I wouldn't recommend that because sometimes there's extra stuff that's put into the minced garlic that you buy at the supermarket. Uh, so the next thing that we're gonna add is two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Of course you wanna make sure you get Organic apple cider vinegar it doesn't necessarily have to be this brand, but you want to get good stuff for your baby chickens. So we'll add two tablespoons of this to our gallon of water. And uh, it should be warm water so that everything mixes in there better. Well, the garlic and the apple cider vinegar doesn't matter too much. It's mostly the honey that you need the water to be warm for because that is the next ingredient. Half a cup of local honey, okay? And I recommend using local honey. Don't use, uh, you know, some like corn syrup, some not honey, okay? Because otherwise it's not gonna be good for your baby chickens. So we're gonna use half a cup measured out. And like I said, add this to warm water so that the honey will actually mix in. And it would probably have been better if I got a uh, different container for this, you know, like a jug to shake it up, but I'm just working with what I got. That's what we do on the based farm. And this is also going to help get some more juice out of those garlics. Yeah, now it's going. All right, now we can give this to our chickens. So this is their waterer and their feeder. Um, I'll just let you know real quick kind of what's going on here. So this is a one inch wire mesh or hardware cloth, whatever you want to call it. And then these are some other ice cream containers down below them. And the idea is to try to keep them from not kicking as many shavings into their feed and into their water. So basically, you know, they walk up here and then, you know, they're carrying some shavings with them and boom, it's going to fall in through that gap there. Zoom in so you can see, carry some shavings and boom, falls in through that gap there. It's not 100% perfect because, you know, as you can see, there is some shavings inside the waterer, um, but I think their feeder is completely clean. Uh, so yeah, we'll just take this out and refill it. Well, I'm gonna clean it out first. 
But yeah, there's just regular water in here right now. I'll take it over to the hose, spray it out. Or actually, I might not even have to do all that. I'll spray it out for good measure. Now the outside of it's dirtier. All right. So now we're gonna fill it with magic water. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and try to fill this uh, water. I might have to end up pouring this off into another container that's a little bit easier to fill. But let's see, if this fits in sideways, then I can just do that. Oh, look at that, I think it does. Okay, yeah, that works. There you go. Who says you can't use a uh, ice cream container <laughs> to fill up your, to uh, mix your magic water in? All right, so... I'm just going to put this up here for now. Put this lid back on. And I'm going to stir this back on. Let me set this tripod down so I can use two hands. I tell you guys, farm tube, farm tube can be a heck of a challenge sometimes. All right, twist this back on. Okay. Look at that. Pouring out that delicious magic water. Um, by the way, this um, magic water system, at least where, where I found it from, is uh, Justin Rhodes on Abundance Plus. So I'm gonna link that below for you guys. Lots of good feed and seed tips from a legit Sneeder, Justin Rhodes. So yeah, there we go, magic water. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill this feeder up too. So this is what I'm feeding my chicks right now. The uh, Purina Start and Grow Medicated Crumbles. And the only reason that I'm giving them the medicated feed is because this has uh, probiotics in here. I think it says right here, yeah. So it's got probiotic, uh, prebiotics. Actually, let me zoom in so you can see. There we go. So prebiotics and probiotics to support uh, digestive and immune health, but there's no added antibiotics or hormones. Uh, so the reason that I'm giving them this is because these are chickens that I've bought from other people. Um, they've been traveling, you know, some of them, they've been traveling on the highway. And that's part of the reason why some of them probably got pasty butt. I don't know if the uh, video of me treating pasty butt is going to be posted before or after this. But um, I think so far, three or four of them in total have had it. So, you know, that's something that happens uh, oftentimes when chickens are stressed. Usually if you hatch them out on your own farm then, uh, especially with a mother hen, they don't end up getting stressed out that much. Um, but obviously, you know, I can't hatch eggs because I didn't have chickens already, you know? That's like a literal chicken and egg problem. But now that I've got uh, chicks, you know, some of them are pullets, and uh, other ones, the majority of them are straight run. I really shouldn't leave this open since they're starting to get to where they can jump. Uh, but yeah, the, um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, these, these are chicks that I bought. So, you know, they get a little bit more stressed out 
and sometimes that leads to them getting pasty butt, but when you hatch them out yourself, that's usually not as much of a problem, and you probably won't ever have to give them medicated feed. Or some people might even disagree with um, giving them medicated feed in the first place, but I'm just explaining to you guys the reasons why I do it. That's the whole reason for FOSS farming, after all, is to uh, share with people what you do and to educate others as well as learn more yourself. Whoop. I gotta sweep up in here. All right, so I'll put this back where they know where it is. And it looks like they're all gonna be laying down. Um, this is another thing that I have too, just to uh, read the temperature. So I definitely want to keep a thermometer in here so that you can keep an eye on the temperature of your baby chicks. I'm probably going to take them outside in a little bit so that, uh, you know, they can get sunlight and be on grass.